Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. Today we're gonna find out how you can upgrade your Tel Latitude 3390 2-in-1 laptop TDR4 RAM and how much RAM you can actually install on it. Of course you're gonna see how you can open up this laptop and we're gonna have a little look on the other components as well. First things first you need a standard Phillips screwdriver. If you don't have one, I'm gonna leave the link in the description exactly for the one I'm using there, they're excellent. Remove all the screws from the back panel, they're all the same size so you don't have to separate them, just keep them all together. Remove the back cover, I'm using just my hands, no tools needed, just a bit of pressure there at the back and uh, the cover should come off easy enough. Just remember, take your time, don't break anything. It will come off quite easy, I have to say now. There's a little specs of this laptop. Yeah, that's the back cover inside. And that's the inside look now. It's pretty basic, you have two DDR4 RAM slots, that's number one, and that's number two. That's your CPU, which is soldered to motherboard, not upgradable, CPU fan. That's your Wi-Fi card, which is upgradable, downgradable, changeable, whatever your intentions are. And that's your SSD slot, and that's your battery, of course, and battery connection. There's a bit of a closer look now. There's your both DDR RAM slots. CPU, of course. As I mentioned before, not upgradable, so don't, don't ask me that. That's your Wi-Fi card. And of course, that's your solid state drive slot. Or caddy, as it says. And that's your battery, of course, as well. and battery connection. And before you start upgrading any components on your laptop, I do recommend disconnecting battery itself, just for safety. You just have to kind of pull it back to yourself. That's it. At the moment, this laptop has 8GB DDR4 RAM in it. Just one stick. There you go. Now this laptop has i5 8th generation Intel CPU on it, so it will take in total 32 gigs. So that's stick number one, 16 gigs as you see. I'm gonna leave the links in the description of course, so you can go out and get one or two. For basic usage of your laptop, if you're just browsing internet and maybe opening a few bits, 16 gigs is enough. So that's another one. So in total, this laptop will have 32 gigs of RAM. Not the fastest RAM now, I have to say, but that's all I had. And it it will do, it will work fine. It's not the best, of course, but I'm kind of on budget on this one, so. To remove your solid state drive bay, you have to, first of all, of course, disconnect your solid state drive and just remove these two screws. I'm not gonna upgrade the solid state drive itself. I'm just gonna show you how you get to it and what you can actually upgrade to. Okay, that's a bit of a closer look here now. And the cool thing about this laptop now is it will take 2.5 inch hard drive or M2 drives. So you have option here. To get to it, you have to remove these four screws on the side. Using of course, same screwdriver again. So you only need one tool really. Well, probably your hands will be considered as tools as well. So more. Okay, that's what's going on inside there now. Micron 256 gigabyte drive and you can actually if you remove that now remove other two screws there 
you can actually put 2.5 inch drive in it which is kind of pointless but whatever you have there maybe you have like one terabyte 2.5 inch drive you can put that in there it's up to yourself i'm not upgrading that as i said before because 256 gigs is enough for this laptop anyway so but at least now you know what you can upgrade to and uh, how you can actually get to it so you have some idea older laptops like this one are great there's a lot of stuff you can upgrade on these ones none of the ram is solder to mother motherboard so you can upgrade both base or both slots which is great like that's it co connecting your solid state drive back to motherboard now and of course before you close your laptop please connect your battery up again made that mistake myself several times in, in the past where I didn't connect the battery and I have to open up the laptop once again so do it before I recommend it that's it that's the upgrading done just in a second now I just close the back panel again put the screws back and I'm gonna boot into Windows so you can actually see the 32 gigs of RAM does work on this laptop so I'm not scamming you here with the PS video so and same thing as we did before, just in reverse now, put the back panel back, kind of, um, you have to put a bit of pressure there, it will kind of clip in, you can hear the clips, you, you can check the size that it is closed properly and then you can put your screws back in again. Okay, that's it. Upgrading done. Laptop closed. Time to boot up the windows and see what's happening in it. I'm not gonna go too deep on it. I'm just gonna show you the specs that 32 gigs is on it and it does work. As you see, that's the Latitude 3390, 2-in-1. RAM installed is 32 gigs, usable is 31.9, so all good, all working. As I said before, not the fastest RAM. You can get yourself faster RAM, but it will do for me here anyway, so. That's about it, all the upgrading there, but I have done. So hopefully this was helpful now for you. If you're looking to upgrade, you just want to see what you can do with it, what's upgradable, what's not. And if that video was helpful anyway at all, do please subscribe and like the video as well. And you know what? Have a good life. Bye bye.